Hello guys, this is Peter here and this time we take a look at a boss called Highcore Mystic Flame. It's an LA boss located in the Surfer's Wastes and has a nice 2020 Fire Wand, uh, which may be perfect for heroes or for Fire Rally lovers. Uh, the boss is a beast if you try to tank him with armor. It has skills like Savannah Heat, which can easily wipe out the whole party. But if you wanna solo it, good news, protective spirit builds work like a charm. I bring you three classes this time, Mesmer, Ritu and Monk, and I guess you can solo this boss using any Monk secondary, but let's keep this bit short, this is a full run from the Mesmer's point of view. So after doing the Reason trick, run straight to the Worm Spore and give yourself Enduring Harmony and Make Haste. These two skills are only optional, but I think they can make your runs faster. Once you have the shouts, click on the spoor and keep left. Flag your Paragon hero somewhere at the beginning and avoid the nearby group. Once you reach the regular soil, leave the Jonandu and activate Balthazar Spirit. The boss is in the middle of a very crowded area, uh, but if you are quick enough you can learn his group to a safe spot. Usually he is accompanied by other genes, which can be Paragons, Dervs or Fire Relays. And you got to maintain Protective Spirit, Absorption and Shielding Hands all the time. And don't forget Healing Breeze either, um, because burning is always up, you got to counter it with some HP re regen. Avoid the Mandragores and the Margonite groups too, both of them can kill you very easily. Simply bring the Jin group close to the Sulfurous area, but don't go into that or you will die. Once you find a nice spot, start farming the boss with the Pain Inverter and use the Copied version too. And uh, you can use Bantra of Recovery, it helps a bit with recharge times. And you can add other elites to War, E-Surge, anything that adds extra damage. The Diamond Jin or Jeans can heal the boss back, but only when it's at a low HP and only once each. And uh, when the boss is dead, pick up the drops, uh, type slash resign and you can do it again. Ritu is our next tune, very similar build, but the elite is Vengeful was can high. Obviously the majority of the damage comes from Pain Inverter again, uh, but the elite does a decent job at keeping us alive and hurting fools at the same time. Spirit Wand and Prod Spirit takes care of the tanking and Weapon Ward helps with recharging skills faster. Don't forget to use Spirit Wand when the boss uses his elite skill, uh, otherwise it's an easy to use build. Monk build is almost the same as the Mesmer build, maintain enchantments, use Echo and Pain Inverter, and hope for good loot. So after 200 runs, uh, High Court of Mystic Flame gave me the following items, 2 elite tomes, 12 greens, many gold coins, scrolls, and a few unit golds. You can also drop uh, Fiery Dragon Swords too, which is a nice skin, and these are inscribables, since we are in Nightfall, plus you can drop Ruby Genie Sands, which are hard to farm and are collected by Nicholas the Traveler, plus uh, it may contain rubies if you salvage them. So only two elites, uh, to be honest, I've expected more from a high-end area, but whatever it is what it is, Hycor is not the best elite dropper, but at least his greens drop frequently. That's it for today, folks. You know, thanks for watching, and see you in the next one.